welcome. Make yourself at home. So you ended up on Kuat. Shipyards must have some interesting sounds. Oh, yeah. Absolutely filthy soundscape. Real solid samples. Things got really going when I met Didi, though. You found them in the shipyards? That's right. I used to hang out at this monitoring station just listening to the yards. I caught Dee Dee here jamming on some recordings. Dee Dee was already making music when you met? Hell yeah. This little droid's got this natural gift. No other way to put it. He just needed the right opportunity. <laughs> hey there. What do I want to hear? <laughs> Afraid of what it cannot control. Culture is our shield. But to them, it is a threat. Like what the Empire did to the Wookiees on Kashyyyk. So many traditions extinct. And yet, it might prove the Empire's downfall. An intelligent Empire would co-opt the cultures it conquers, wielding it against their enemies. This one is rigid, obstinate. When the right threat arrives, it will be unable to adapt to it. Hope so. Not hope. This is known. The only question is when. Now is not the time to speak. With today, another time. Just like that, as far as I can tell, didn't even have time to radio me. Criff, that is just oh, Criff. Gal, did you hear? Grok got done in by an Imperial patrol. Grok's dead? Told the old bastard to be careful when he left. You sent him alone? I thought he could handle it. He was just nabbing a fuel injector. At least the fuel injector didn't take a single hit. That geezer sure didn't know his way around a payload. Guess you and Grok weren't so close, huh? No, this is what the old man would've wanted. Call it my bereavement tax. With the Empire everywhere, do you think Rambler's Reach has a chance? It reminds me of something a friend of mine once said. One of the wisest men I've known. Hope will always survive in those who continue to fight. I believe that to be true. But things are probably going to get worse before we can make them better. Yeah. But that does not mean I'm going to let the Empire destroy Kobo's history. And I guess there's still hope, isn't there? Some other time, okay? Hi, Cal. With all your expeditions, what keeps you on Kobo? Uh, even though I've been here a bit, Kobo is still a wild land. The Outer Rim is the frontier. So much is completely unexplored. So it's the unique flora and fauna? Partially. But another big reason is that on the frontier, you can reinvent yourself. I could be an outlaw, making a fresh start, and you'd have no idea. Are you an outlaw? You don't know. That's the beauty of it. Salutations. Hey, Grease, you all right? Just, you know, a, a little distracted is all. I mean, I'm about to fly freehand into a stellar anomaly with an appetite for starships. <laughs> and I'll tell you, my palms haven't been this sweaty since... You can do this. Yeah, sure. I can do this. Oh, who asked you anyway? Let's talk in a bit, yeah? Do these 
Imperials spook you as much as they do me? Yeah, they do. I'm just not used to this, mate. Sure, the Reach has always been dangerous, but this feels worse somehow. Hang in there, Har. They haven't taken Kobo yet. Yeah, you're right. It'll take more than some TIE fighters flying overhead to break our spirits. Cal, I appreciate you sticking up for the Reach. Sure use more like you. Yeah, you too, little guy. Hey, mate. Are you ready to go? Just about. When we confront Bo, just remember, he has what he wants. He will fight to the death to keep it. I am staying here for now. Are those atrocious, though admittedly effective, stormtrooper helmets? They won't come to the outpost. I won't let them. I appreciate it, dear. But you can't stop an army. I despise the Empire. What they desire most is for us all to become the same. Fearful and obedient. A thousand empires couldn't change you, Winnie. That I know. Yeah, let's chat later. <laughs> 